Hi, Pastor Brandon here. Man, as we enter this week, a couple more days into the Passion Week, we're reminded and, and gripped as we look around and see a world that continues to look for peace, and yet they're missing it. Everywhere we may look, we miss peace unless we see Jesus. As he says, when he's weeping, as he, as he wipes away the tears and, and breaking through the emotional mourning, he says, man, Jerusalem, in verse 42, would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace, but now they're hidden from your eyes. He's weeping over Jerusalem because they missed him. He's the one who brings peace. He's the one who brings peace between us who are in sin. And that sin separated us from him, from God. And he came to bring us peace. And he's weeping because he knows the destruction and the consequence of sin that's about to just wreak havoc on Jerusalem. In the days to come, he knows it. And he's, he's weeping. And he sets an example for us that we who know the peace, who believe in Jesus and have been set free from sin, as, as Paul tells us in Romans 6, that we should no longer live to sin, but be dead to sin and alive to Christ, that, that we should enjoy that peace. But those who miss it, those who miss it remain without peace. And that is the sting that still exists as the ultimate consequence of sin is death. But in 1 Corinthians, Paul tells us in, in chapter 15 that where, oh, where death is your sting. There's no more sting in verse 56. The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray as you think about Jesus and his time in those days leading up to the cross during this week that, that may we also with Jesus weep over sin that's keeping us from experiencing that peace in Christ. And may we weep over the sin that exists in our family and friends' lives, praying that they would receive the peace that only they can receive as they believe in Jesus Christ for their salvation and for their forgiveness of sin, that they too, though they're dead in sin, would be raised to new life in Christ Jesus. God bless you guys. Have a great rest of your week. We look forward to seeing you this Friday at 6 p.m. for a Good Friday service or Sunday at 8.30 or 10.30 for a Resurrection Sunday.